What is Tableau? Tableau is a one of the fastest growing data visualization and data analysis tool. It is a business intelligence software that allows anyone to connect to respective data, and then visualize and create interactive, shrubbled dashboards. Can you list out the features of Tableau? Drag and drop functionality. Mobile ready dashboards. Creating interactive dashboards and guided stories. Advanced visualizations. Security permissions at any level and more. What are the different Tableau products and what is the latest version of Tableau? Tableau Desktop. It is a self-service business analytics and data visualization that anyone can use. It translates pictures of data into optimized queries. With Tableau Desktop, you can directly connect to data from your data warehouse for live up-to-date data analysis. You can also perform queries without writing a single line of code. Import all your data into Tableau's data engine from multiple sources and integrate all together by combining multiple views in an interactive dashboard. Tableau Server. It is more of an enterprise-level Tableau software. You can publish dashboards with Tableau Desktop and share them throughout the organization with web-based Tableau Server. It leverages fast databases through live connections. Tableau Online. This is a hosted version of Tableau Server which helps makes business intelligence faster and easier than before. You can publish Tableau dashboards with Tableau Desktop and share them with colleagues. Tableau Reader, it's a free desktop application that enables you to open and view visualizations that are built in Tableau Desktop. You can filter, drill down data but you cannot edit or perform any kind of interactions. Tableau Public, this is a free Tableau software which you can use to make visualizations with, but you need to save your workbook or worksheets in the Tableau server which can be viewed by anyone. What are measures and dimensions? Measures are the numeric metrics or measurable quantities of the data, which can be analyzed by dimension table. Measures are stored in a table that contain foreign keys referring uniquely to the associated dimension tables. The table supports data storage at atomic level and thus, allows more number of records to be inserted at one time. For instance, a sales table can have product key, customer key, promotion key, items sold, referring to a specific event. Dimensions are the descriptive attribute values for multiple dimensions of each attribute, defining multiple characteristics. A dimension table, having reference to the product key form the table, can consist of product name, product type, size, color, description, etc. What is the difference between TWB and TWBX extension? A TWB is an XML document which contains all the selections and layout made you have made in your Tableau workbook. It does not contain any data. A TWBX is a zipped archive containing a TWB and any external files such as extracts and background images. What is the difference between Tableau and traditional BI tools? Tableau provides easy to use, best in class, visual analytic capabilities, but has nothing to do with the data foundation or plumbing. But with an integration with a SQL server it can be the complete package. On the other hand, Traditional BI tools have the before-mentioned capabilities, but then you have to deal with significant amount of upfront costs. The cost of consulting, software and hardware is comparatively quite high. What are the different connections you can make with your data set? We can either connect live to our data set or extract data onto Tableau. Live, connecting live to a data set leverages its computational processing and storage. New queries will go to the database and will be reflected as new or updated within the data. Extract, and extract will make a static snapshot of the data to be used by Tableau's data engine. The snapshot of the data can be refreshed on a recurring schedule as a whole or incrementally append data. One way to set up these schedules is via the Tableau server. The benefit of Tableau Extract over live connection is that Extract can be used anywhere without any connection and you can build your own visualization without connecting to database. What are sets? Sets are custom fields that define a subset of data based on some conditions. A set can be based on a computed condition, for example, a set may contain customers with sales over a certain threshold. Computed sets update as your data changes. Alternatively, a set can be based on specific data point in your view. What are groups? A group is a combination of dimension members that make higher level categories. For example, if you are working with a view that shows average test scores by major, you may want to group certain majors together to create major categories. What is a hierarchical field? 
A hierarchical field in Tableau is used for drilling down data. It means viewing your data in a more granular level. What is Tableau Data Server? Tableau Server acts a middleman between Tableau users and the data. Tableau Data Server allows you to upload and share data extracts, preserve database connections, as well as reuse calculations and field metadata. This means any changes you make to the data set, calculated fields, parameters, aliases, or definitions, can be saved and shared with others, allowing for a secure, centrally managed and standardized dataset. Additionally, you can leverage your server's resources to run queries on extracts without having to first transfer them to your local machine. What is Tableau Data Engine? Tableau Data Engine is a really cool feature in Tableau. It's an analytical database designed to achieve instant query response, predictive performance. Integrate seamlessly into existing data infrastructure and is not limited to load entire data sets into memory. If you work with a large amount of data, it does take some time to import, create indexes and sort data, but after that everything speeds up. Tableau Data Engine is not really in memory technology. The data is stored in disk after it is imported and the RAM is hardly utilized. What are the different filters in Tableau and how are they different from each other? The different filters in Tableau are Quick, Context and Normal Traditional Filter are Normal filter is used to restrict the data from database based on selected dimension or measure. A traditional filter can be created by simply dragging a field onto the filter's shelf. Quick filter is used to view the filtering options and filter each worksheet on a dashboard while changing the values dynamically during the runtime. Context filter is used to filter the data that is transferred to each individual worksheet. When a worksheet queries the data source, it creates a temporary, flat table that is used to compute the chart. This temporary table includes all values that are not filtered out by either the custom SQL or the context filter. What is a dual axis? Dual axis is an excellent phenomenon supported by Tableau that helps users view two scales of two measures in the same graph. Many websites like Indeed.com and other make use of dual axis to show the comparison between two measures and their growth rate in a septic set of years. Dual axes let you compare multiple measures at once, having two independent axes layered on top of one another. What is disaggregation and aggregation of data? The process of viewing numeric values or measures at higher and more summarized levels of the data is called aggregation. When you place a measure on a shelf, Tableau automatically aggregates the data, usually by summing it. You can easily determine the aggregation applied to a field because the function always appears in front of the field's name when it is placed on a shelf. For example, sales becomes sum. You can aggregate measures using Tableau only for relational data sources. Multidimensional data sources contain aggregated data only. In Tableau, multidimensional data sources are supported only in Windows. According to Tableau, disaggregating your data allows you to view every row of the data source which can be useful when you are analyzing measures that you may want to use both independently and dependently in the view. For example, you may be analyzing the results from a product satisfaction survey with the age of participants along one axis. You can aggregate the age field to determine the average age of participants or disaggregate the data to determine at what age participants were most satisfied with the product. What are extracts and schedules in Tableau Server? Data extracts are the first copies or subdivisions of the actual data from original data sources. The workbooks using data extracts instead of those using LiveDB connections are faster since the extracted data is imported in Tableau Engine. After this extraction of data, users can publish the workbook, which also publishes the extracts in Tableau Server. However, the workbook and extracts won't refresh unless users apply a scheduled refresh on the extract. Scheduled refreshes are the scheduling tasks set for data extract refresh so that they get refreshed automatically while publishing a workbook with data extract. This also removes the burden of republishing the workbook every time the concerned data gets updated. How to view underlying SQL queries in Tableau? Viewing underlying SQL queries in Tableau provides two options. Create a performance recording to record performance information about the main events you interact with workbook. Users can view the performance metrics in the workbook created by Tableau. Help dash greater than settings and performance dash greater than start performance recording. Help dash greater than setting and performance dash greater than stop performance recording.
reviewing the Tableau desktop logs located at C. Users My Documents My Tableau Repository. For live connection to data source, you can check log.txt and tab protosref.txt files. For an extract, check deserver.txt file. How to do performance testing in Tableau? Performance testing is again an important part of implementing Tableau. This can be done by loading testing Tableau server with tab jolt, which is a point and run load generator created to perform QA. While tab jolt is not supported by Tableau directly, it has to be installed using other open source products. Name the components of a dashboard. Horizontal, horizontal layout containers allow the designer to group worksheets and dashboard components left to right across your page and edit the height of all elements at once. Vertical, vertical containers allow the user to group worksheets and dashboard components top to bottom down your page and edit the width of all elements at once. Text, all textual fields. Image extract, a Tableau workbook is an XML format. In order to extract images, Tableau applies some codes to extract an image which can be stored in XML. Web, a URL action is a hyperlink that points to a web page, file, or other web-based resource outside of Tableau. You can use URL actions to link to more information about your data that may be hosted outside of your data source. To make the link relevant to your data, you can substitute field values of a selection into the URL as parameters.